Welcome to this video on how to approximate functions with HDL optimized lookup tables. We launch our Simulink and we have a simple model here. On the left side you'll see a sine wave block which is outputting a type double. This goes into a convert block which gives us a fixed point data type. This goes down into a reciprocal square root of u block. I've taken this block and put it into a subsystem above so that we can do a comparison later. Inside the subsystem you'll see that there's an input and an output port as well as that same reciprocal block. We go back up to the top level, select our block, and in the apps tools trip, we can go ahead and look for the lookup table optimizer. I already have it here, so I'll go ahead and launch it. The optimizer launches and has the ability to select either a simulink block or a subsystem, which is what we have, or a MATLAB function handle. Next, you need to select the block. We already have ours selected, so we'll go ahead and collect the current values from the model. This comes back with a signed 16-bit word length with 12 fraction bits. We want to change this to 8 fraction bits. Next, we know that our system can only have an input of 0 to 9, so we change our maximum input to 9 and select Next. Now we can input the output error tolerance. We know that our system can handle a 1% absolute or relative error, so we change these now. The allowed word lengths of 8, 16, 32 will be left, and we'll select the lookup table specification button. Inside here, we'll leave all our settings, starting with the linear interpolation, down to the HDL optimized, which we'll change to true. Then we select OK, and there are more settings that we could go in this wheel and, and change, but we'll leave the defaults. Now we'll let the optimizer run. It comes back with a result that's just under 10,000 bytes. Let's go into MATLAB and see the results. You can see there's a warning that only even spacing is supported for HDL optimized lookup tables. So you'll see that it's only tried to find even spacing or even power of two spacing solutions. There were two solutions that were feasible and number 15 was the best. It has again just under 10,000 bytes as we saw in the table. We go back into the optimizer and we select next and we can do a comparison plot of the original versus the approximated function. This opens up and shows that in red, the approximation is overlapping the original blue function. Down below, we can see the error, which is shown in red. The error is well within the 1% absolute and relative tolerance that we set. We're happy with this result. Now, we could go look at the function, or we can just go ahead and replace the original function. Let's replace the original function and do a simulation where we can do a data inspection to do a comparison of the square root block versus the subsystem. You can see when I select these that they overlap, so the results are very similar. Go ahead and close this, and then we can double click our block, and we can select Simulate with Latency. This allows us to have cycle true simulations. Thanks for watching this video on Lookup Table Optimizer.